Hey guys, so today we've got kind of the weirdest video I'm probably ever going to make, and some of you haters will say it's fake, but a variant of mine from the future has come back to give me some LEGO leaks. So we are going to be watching a video which he has sent, and keep in mind, this is also me from 15 years from now, which is pretty cool. He's come to talk to me, he's a pretty cool guy. Hey guys, so you know how long we've been waiting, but we finally got our Summer 2037 leaks here. Now these are all coming thanks to LEGO Dave, we've been counting on him a lot recently since the death of Promo Bricks. Of course I will not be covering any of the May sets as those are still going to be coming, however we will be covering all the sets which are coming out in August, and I'm very excited for a few of these, some remakes we have not had in a while so it's great to see, and then some which have been remade actually quite a lot recently, so not really excited for those ones, but we'll get into all of it. The smaller set, this is set 905678, the Boba Fett Starship with 17 pieces, retailing for 20 US dollars coming out August 1st, this is of course the mini builds again, we're finally getting another Boba Fett Starship of these, and for 20 dollars I think it's a pretty fair price overall. The minifigure rumoured is going to be that book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett, which is great to see after season 2 of course, and this one I think is very interesting, and while some of us will want there to be that updated helmet print, sadly the rumour right now is that it will still be in that sand green, which is kind of disappointing from LEGO, but we'll have to wait and see. Of course this year marks the 15th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars Mix, and we are going to be getting 3 new ones of 3 characters which we've never gotten a make based on, this time they are going for a theme like they have before in other years, and this time the theme is Senators. So the first one up is set 905679. This is the Mon Mothma mech with 156 pieces, retailing for $34.99 USD, coming out August 1st. This one will be very interesting to see what it's based on. This one is 905680, the Bail Organa mech. This one will have 173 pieces, a bigger piece count, likely due to a brick built cape of some kind. And then also, of course, being 35 US dollars coming out August 1st. Only the one most people will be excited for, the 905681 Senator Binks mech. With 163 pieces, again, 35 US dollars August 1st. Getting a Jar Jar Binks mech again is great. And that Senator Binks outfit is one which we haven't gotten before, so it's very interesting to see. I'm hyped for this one specifically, I hope they do the brick built ears again, and I think this one is overall going to be the best of the three. So we've got another battle pack, this time the 905. 682, the 212 Trooper Battle Pack, yes, more Clone Trooper ones, this will have 121 pieces and retail for 45 US dollars, same price as the other ones in recent years, and this will be coming out August 1st. Now this one I think is very great, we have of course been wanting one since that ATT set, and LEGO just kept pushing it back and back, but this time they are finally going to be putting these clones back in a Battle Pack, which is great to see, they will be outdated this time, however, LEGO is going to be re-releasing them in this set here, the same ones from that ATT set. Now of course people have been wanting them to redo that helmet print, but they have not done that yet, and the current rumour is that they will still be the same inaccurate helmet. For the first proper set now, we do have 905684, this is going to be the TIE Fighter, getting another one with 534 pieces retail for $80, honestly a very good price there definitely great in terms of recent years, and then this will be coming out August 1st again. Now there's no rumour on minifigures, however thanks to Brick News Productions before we did of course get that leak of Kiliana from Rebel War, so presumably she will be included in this set, that makes the most sense. It is her from the season 1 finale as well, so that makes the most sense here to have as a TIE fighter, so we, this will be Rebel War based. As for other minifigures, I don't know what to predict, but I think Kiliana is a sure bet. Of course, this year is the 10th anniversary since Rebel Wars first season, so we are going to be getting at least one set. Hopefully we'll be getting more, but this is probably the one set we'll be getting to celebrate that, which is kind of interesting for it to just be a TIE Fighter. Also recently we did actually get a clearer version of this leak, which I will show now. And yeah, I think seeing this figure, it is pretty cool. This is like the best quality leak we've had in a while, and it is pretty nice. The next setup is actually an unknown one. This is at 905685, with 734 pieces retailing for 150 US dollars, again August 1st. Now I think the perfect place for this one is going to be that Captain Rex's Y-Wing. Now we've been waiting on it for a while now, and every year, yes, everyone just says, hey, I think this year's gonna be it. But this time I do actually believe that we will be getting it, I think everything just lines up, 
it's pretty much perfect. It's going to be the 35th anniversary of the Clone Wars, and what a better set to celebrate it than the Captain Rex's Y-Wing. I could not think of a better time. I think this is the perfect time to release this set. Really, really hope this one is true, and maybe finally we will get that Phase 2 Rex minifigure we've all been wanting. Next set is kind of disappointing, it's 905686, this is going to be Jango Fett Slave 1, or Jango Fett Starship, with 1,149 pieces retailing for 250 US dollars, again a pretty fair price for Slave 1s, and this will of course also be coming out August 1st, however this one might also be September. Many figures for this, it will of course have Jango, Young Boba, Obi-Wan, Torn Wei, and Lama Su, so that one sounds pretty decent. But you know, we've just been getting a lot of Jango Fett Slave Ones in recent years, and honestly this set is just kind of boring now. Remember a time when everyone used to want those? <laughs> Man, that was weird. Anyways, the next setup is going to be based on the new Mandalorian season, Mando Season 22, which I am very hyped for, and this set does actually sound pretty cool. This is going to be set 905. 687, this is going to be Mando's Pod Racer, which we've seen in the trailers, with 228 pieces retailing for 45 US dollars, pretty good price there, and this will be coming out on August 1st, again though maybe September. Now this one will of course be our first set to include the adult Jedi Grogu, we've of course had adult Mandalorian Grogu, but not the adult Jedi one, which I am very hyped for, to get that new head mold of course with the new printing for the scar over the eye. Now there is one last set which we have a rumour for here, and this one is the big one, this is the UCS and MBS set at the end of the year. This is set 905692, this is going to be the UCS Death Star 3, we are finally getting one in Lego form. This will have 22,345 pieces, so the 5th biggest LEGO set of all time. Now there is no rumoured price or release date. Release date, I'm going to assume that this is going to be around October. And price based on other sets, this will probably be in that 5,000 US dollar bracket. Now of course the build will just be based on that 3rd Death Star, which does look very similar to the first one. Just with some interesting things at the back there, and a very interesting interior, which I hope we get to see with such a high piece count. As for minifigures, I think the Mandalorian is an obvious choice there, as well as Grogu. I think also Ahsoka Tano and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Jar Jar Binks is a clear option for the role he played there, and then we'll even go with Babu Frick and Rey. I think this set either has two options for minifigures, either it will come with around 100, or it will come with two. I'm leaning more towards two though, and I think if we go with two, we will just have a normal Stormtrooper, and an Imperial Officer. So those are kind of rumoured, they've been hinted at, but I think we can still widely speculate on some of the cool characters that could show up based on such an iconic scene. But yeah, that's it for those Summer 2037 leagues. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this wave. Some of the prices are actually quite low, which is very good. There are some very good deals here, especially price per piece wise. I am very happy with some of those, and I think it shows LEGO going in a positive direction compared to last year. The weakest set here is probably that Jango Fett Starship, we've just gotten so many recently that I can't be bothered with another one, and the minifigures are nothing special as well. I think Captain Rex's Y-Wing will come in and save the wave definitely, which I am looking forward to, and I do kind of wish that there were some more Rebel War sets and Clone Wars sets to celebrate those anniversaries, but I think overall it is fine. But please, let me know your thoughts down below because I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. I think this is going to be a very interesting wave in terms of varying length of opinions, However, yeah, that'll be it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you, of course you can't like and subscribe anymore because YouTube removed the like button, and of course you have to pay for YouTube now. But that'll be all folks, goodbye.